Behold, a faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to oh Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, for the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. <laughs> May Almighty, Almighty God, God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. To take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by Saint Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Samuel. The Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise up for you an heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make this kingdom firm. It is he who shall build a house for my name, and I will make his royal throne firm forever. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever, and your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Son of David will live forever. The Son of David, David will, will live, live forever. forever. The promises of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. The Son, Son of David, David will live forever. forever. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David, my servant. Forever will I confirm your prosperity and establish your throne for all generations. The, the Son of David will live forever. forever. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant will stand firm. The, the Son, Son of David, David will live forever. forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, it is not through the law that the promise was made to Abraham and his descendants that he would inherit the world, but through the righteousness that comes from faith. For this reason, it depends on faith, so that it may be a gift, and the promise may guarantee to all his descendants, not to those only adhere to the law, but to those who follow the faith of Abraham, who is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you the father of many nations. He is our Father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead, and calls into being what does not exist. He believed, hoping against hope, that he would become the Father of many nations, 
according to what was said. Thus shall your descendants be. That is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They never cease to praise you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed each day, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances, but not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must leave my father's house? But they, they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the solemnity of our Father Saint Joseph, the spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and patron of the Church. What can we learn from this humble man? We don't know so too much about the life of Saint Joseph. We only know the name of his father. We only know that he came from the from David's blood, David's line, King David. But what we really know about St. Joseph that he was a pious man, a man of justice and righteousness. In today's world, especially right now, when we have to return to the Lord, St. Joseph teaches us that through our justice and righteousness, we can approach the kingdom of God. How? Number one, being with Jesus, staying with Jesus, listening to Jesus, and just contemplating Jesus. How blessed Saint Joseph was to be there since the moment of the conception. A man who could run away, a man who could denounce our Blessed Mother after he heard that she was expecting a baby. He decided to fulfill God's will in his life and in the life of the whole world. A man of righteousness basically means that a man who is filled with the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us also remember that you and I have received the same Spirit since the moment of our conception, baptism, first communion, confirmation, perhaps marriage, or priestly ordination. St. Joseph teaches us that it is welcoming our blessed, welcoming, welcoming our blessed Mother into our, our homes. We can be happy. When we receive Jesus into our lives, our joy is fulfilled. What a grace he had to have Jesus and Mary when he died. What blessing he had when he was able to see Jesus and Mary every day. How blessed he was when he walked, talked, ate with Jesus. 
my brothers, my sisters, let us abandon ourselves in the hands of God as Saint Joseph did. Let us go back to our Father and be with him forever as Saint Joseph did. This humble man, whom the Gospel says that he was a righteous man, may he teach us to get closer to our Lord. What we need right now is to be close to Jesus, to God, to Mary and Joseph. May the feast of, may the feast of this great saint help us to understand that it, this is not about us, this is about God and his holy kingdom. Happy feast day to all the Joseph, Giuseppe, Giuseppina, Jose. Happy feast day to you. May our Father Saint Joseph always bless you and protect you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, God and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Feast of St. Joseph is an opportunity to reflect on his life and obedience. Father, with his example, let us join our voices in prayer as we present our petitions to God. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Holy Spirit bless him as he shares Joseph's life of faith and obedience to God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in leadership positions in our country and throughout the world, may God encourage them in their decision-making and help them meet the needs of their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who deal with illnesses, may Christ the healer Bring them relief and give them the strength they need to endure it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in our faith community, may the Holy Spirit intercede for them in all their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rejoice with Saint Joseph and the community of the saints in the heavenly kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those affected by this coronavirus, for the doctors, nurses, for all the healthy people who are dealing with all this crisis. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray today for the credent and Keller, Keller family's intentions, and for the living and deceased members of the Gavaris families, and for all the intentions we bring in the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers in gratitude for all you have done. Hear them and answer us. We pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. 
for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We pray, O Lord, that just as St. Joseph serve with loving care your only begotten Son, born of the Virgin Mary, so we may be worthy to minister with a pure heart at your altar. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And on the solemnity of Saint Joseph. To give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse of the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that 
you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with, with all the apostles and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As the Savior's command, informed by divine teachings, we learn to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said through your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should answer on the man. For I say the word, and my soul shall be
just a reminder to each one of you that beginning also yesterday and continuing today our chapel right now is closed for adoration however the church is open from 8 in the morning until 9 p.m every day so at 8 o'clock one of the priests from this church or the deacon will expose the music sacrament and he will be he will expose there in the church the main, main altar mm -hmm. until 8 30 when we gather together to pray a bilingual rosary and then at 9 o'clock we give you the, the benediction so if you feel good coming to the church please do so if not say your prayer from home be with your family stay healthy please and follow everything what, what our civil and religious authorities are telling us to do this is the moment like saint joseph to obey the will of god and also to obey the directions from our politicians and civil leaders happy feast of saint joseph everyone let us pray defend with unfailing protection O lord we pray the family you have nourished with food from this altar as they rejoice at the solemnity of saint joseph and graciously keep safe your gift among them through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks Praise be to god, god. Saint Saint michael, michael the archangel you. defend us in battle be our, be our defense, defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou prince of the heavenly host by the power of god thrust into hell satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls amen prayer to the virgin mary for protection O mary you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope we entrust ourselves to you health of the sick at the foot of the cross you participated in jesus pain with a step of faith you our lady of new york know what we need we are certain that you will provide so that as you did at, at cana of galilee joy and festive might return after this moment of trial help us mother of divine love to comfort ourselves to the father's will and to do what jesus tells us he who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us to the cross to the joy of the resurrection we seek refuge under your protection o holy mother of god do not despise our pleas we who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger o glorious and blessed virgin amen a prayer in time of need loving father our life and our hope come to our aid in this difficult and uncertain time look with mercy on all who suffer from the coronavirus bless them and their families with your healing consolation and peace guide and be with all who care for them give wisdom and insight to those working to stop the spread of this disease and help them to find a way to cure it consult our anxious hearts strengthen our faith and give us the grace to trust in your goodness restore communities affected by the virus to wholeness and health and in your loving mercy give your help and protection to all through christ our lord amen, amen. have a blessed day everyone